In this video, we're going to talk about the new ePro Scheduler Plus, the latest uh, upgrade of ePro Scheduler, uh, which is our online scheduling system to help us with maintaining and operations within Guardian Elite Medical Services. So to get to ePro, there is the link. I'll also go ahead and put the link in the notes below so you can go and access it. Your default password is your first initial and uh, last name and then, or question, your default username is first initial, last name, and then your password would be your employee number, which you can change once you get into the system. So I've got a uh, test account here, which is actually an employee account. The manager accounts are a little bit different. So once you're in ePro Scheduler, you see here that you have uh, your menu bar on the left-hand side. And this menu bar and ePro is mobile responsive, so if we go ahead and minimize this here and we can go ahead and shrink our window, you see it, it responds to the size of my screen, so that works great for mobile devices including phones and tablets. So anyways, when you first log into ePro Scheduler, you're going to see your dashboard. And your dashboard is going to have uh, important information. It's going to show you your certifications, your qualifications, any notifications in the system, your calendar, shift pickups, shift swap requests, uh, your mailbox, so depending on what uh, messages come out, the current weather, which it's kind of cold out here in Vegas right now. Uh, we do have some external websites, and these are actually right now all YouTube videos. So this talks about different training features and different uh, things that we have uh, training that are video-based. Uh, then time off requests, favorites, and your time card. So going down the left-hand side of the menu bar, you have your favorites. So your favorites, you can go ahead and set. If you notice, you can just click the star in uh, any one of these tabs, and that will actually add it to your favorites. ePro Scheduler, this link here, does nothing for you. Uh, it's more of a manager feature that's disabled on your end. Message Center. So in the Message Center, you have the company address book. Inside the company address book, you can see all active employees. And then in addition, you can go ahead and click into that and you will get the person's uh, phone number and contact information in case you need to get a hold of a certain employee. This test account does not have any information put in, obviously. Then you've got your message folders. This is where you can go ahead and see your master mailbox, registered messages, sent messages, and saved messages. And then... You can also go ahead and send a message. So within ePro, you can go ahead and send a message to a specific employee. You can send it to all employees. You can go ahead and send an email or text message. Uh, you can also attach a file as well. This is used for in the event, like let's say you need coverage for a shift or you left something or you need to put an all message out to everybody, you have the ability to do so. Now, the heart of ePro Scheduler is in the self-service menu. So the self-service menu is where you're going to find a lot of the functions and where you're going to be uh, performing most of your duties within ePro. So going down, you've got general info. And within general info, you have schedule info. Schedule info is where you're going to see your schedule for the next uh, two-week pay period. ePro Scheduler works on a two-week pay period. So we don't see anything here because T-Test is not assigned anywhere. In addition, you can see your pickup requests, your swap requests, your time off requests, and your availability. You can also see a company calendar. The company calendar is going to have any kind of training uh, that we have, is going to have uh, company functions, and will also show you all your personal shifts. From here, you also have the ability to hit sync calendar, and when you sync calendar, this actually gives you the ability to sync your calendar to your phone or your device uh, or your personal calendar to keep everything uh, talking together. So going back to schedule info, then you have look ahead, daily view. So the daily view is where you can see what's happening on a specific day. So like you see here on Saturday, we have some events. And then you can do a, a weekly view, so you can see information for the week. You can do a two-week view, a monthly view, and you can see everything that we have going on for the next uh, month. Anyways, going down the left-hand side, you've got personal profile. So your personal profile is going to contain all your personal information. So from here, if you move, change address, change phone numbers, you can go ahead and submit an update. All you have to do is click Submit Update, and then enter in the information, submit it. 
ePro Scheduler will also go ahead and keep track of all your certifications. So all your certifications must be uploaded into ePro Scheduler. To do so, you can go ahead and hit the Submit New Request button. And then from here, choose what you are uploading. Uh, type in the number, the expiration date, uh, any notes, uh, and then upload a photo of the certification. Now the photo can either be a photo from your phone or your device or you can go ahead and scan it. It doesn't matter as long as I have a copy of your certification. <clears throat> Alright, so moving down the list we've got documents. So within the documents folder we've got uh, uh, employee documents which are important. So like the different paperwork we have, jump bag setups, uh, hospital urgent care guide, uh, uniforms at Las Vegas Tactical so if you do need to order stuff We've got that information there for you. And then we've got some employee doc or some HR documents like direct deposit forms and how to do your paycheck. And then user manuals, so different user manuals for things that we have here at Guardian. And then in the policies, we have the Guardian Elite Medical Services procedural manual. In the message center, this is where you can go ahead and send a message to once again everybody or just the scheduler. So kind of different than the message center from above. And that is all that is in the general info tab. Now going down request and availability. So this is where you're going to pick up shifts. So request availability, pick up shifts. And you can go ahead and see all available shifts during a two week pay period. So you see whatever shifts are open. Now within the shift you'll get a start time, end time, you'll get notes. Within the notes you might get some information about where to report or whether to be here at headquarters. Uh, if you see a headquarters time, that means that you're re uh, reporting directly to the office. Then you have the ability to pick up a shift. If you notice there's zeros and ones next to the pickup, that means there's one person already bidding on this shift, whereas there's nobody bidding on these ones with zeros. So to pick up a shift, you're going to go ahead and hit, uh, you're going to click the pick up tab. You can go ahead and enter a note. Hi there. Or if you know we need to know something about the shift, or if you want it, or if you need to be off early, or you're going to come in late, definitely let us know. That's what that feature, that note feature, is there for. Go ahead and confirm, and then it says that you've successfully picked up the shift. Now the shift is not going to be automatically approved. The shift actually needs to be uh, uh, approved by a manager, and you'll know that the shift gets approved by a manager by a few ways. First of all, this calendar or the question mark is going to change into a blue check mark. Uh, if it gets denied, then it's going to be a red X. In addition, you'll get an email and or a text message with the shift approval or denial. And then if, let's say that the shift is pending approval and you accidentally pick it up, you can go ahead and delete the red X on the left hand side and that gets rid of the shift request and now you're not bidding on it and a manager can't approve you. In addition, we have a swap shift feature. So the swap shift feature is where you can go ahead and trade shifts with somebody. So you don't need manager approval initially. A manager has to approve eventually. But if you do have somebody that wants to do a swap with you or if you can't work or they can't work, go ahead and submit a swap and then a manager will go in and approve. In addition, you can also do a substitution. And a substitution is where uh, you can't work but somebody else can. There's no trades involved and they're basically just taking your shift go ahead and just click into the uh, respective tabs and complete the paperwork and which will then be approved by a manager. Just give me one second here while I close out some of these tabs. Alright, then going down the list we've got time management. Within time management we have the online time clock. So Online time clock, we have the ability to clock in and out through ePro. So if you're scheduled to a shift and you don't have the time clock through the main uh, menu there, you can go ahead and clock in and out through ePro Scheduler. Now, if you are here at the office or you have your device connected to our Wi-Fi, you actually have the ability to clock in and out directly from your device or from your personal device or from the iPad here in the warehouse. You're basically going to go to the regular ePro scheduler, hit the word time clock, and this will actually allow you to clock in and out without having to go through the uh, complete ePro scheduler. Much easier to log in on a mobile device by using this feature. And I'll go ahead and release a different video talking about how to clock in and out here shortly. So let me go ahead, oops, 
Give me one second. I just logged in the manager side of things. Let me go ahead and re-log in here. So we were talking about time management and clocking in. Like I said, I'm going to release a different video, more specifically on clocking in and out and connecting devices. And then going down, we've got other records. Within other records, we have incident reports. So incident reports are used for reporting different problems here at, e at uh, Guardian Elite Medical Services. So it would be things like you crash an ambulance or uh, you have a customer complaint. You, we have the ability to complete an, an incident report, which it is not loading right now. Let me go ahead and close this out and see what's going on. There we go. So now we can go ahead and complete an incident report, uh, which is a pre-filled template with information. So you go ahead and just fill out whatever the information is asking, submit it, and then it goes to a manager for review. Then we have continuing education. So within continuing education, you have the ability to take certain courses. So our courses, we have, uh, we have two different kinds. We have online courses, and then we have classroom courses. So all the classroom courses will be posted down here, and then all the online courses are posted up here in this area. Now, the online courses, you do get continuing education credit for those. So anything with a number in the hour CE col uh, column would be for CME credit through the Southern Nevada Health District. And then you also have whether the course is mandatory. You see we have different courses here, uh, operational courses for Guardian Elite Medical Services along with just continuing education courses. And like I said, any classroom course will show up here within EPRO. Oops, hang on. Accidentally loaded the wrong thing. All right, perfect. Back on. And then vehicles. Under vehicles, we have the ability to uh, check in and out vehicles. So all vehicles have to be checked in and out. That would be under checklist. So you go ahead and select your vehicle. You go ahead and select what you're doing. Check in, check out, click new. And then you have the ability to go through your checklist. Once again, this is mobile responsive. So if you are on a, uh, a smaller device, not a desktop, it should work very well uh, with your smaller devices. And then when you bring a vehicle back in, you'll select what vehicle, and then you'll go ahead and complete a check-in. Then we also have the ability to problem report. So if you're in, let's say, Ambulance 1 and you have an issue, you can go ahead and submit an issue with the vehicle that you are in. And then complete the report there. And then going down, we've got miscellaneous. So for miscellaneous, you have the ability to change your password. You have the ability to uh, view custom links. Like I said, these are... Uh, different training videos that we've created for EPRO and for documentation and other purposes here at Guardian Elite Medical Services. And then you have your dashboard and then the ability to set up your calendar sync with your mobile device. If you have any questions about EPRO Scheduler, go ahead and call the on-duty supervisor at 702-262-2262 extension 9 or definitely shoot me an email and let me know.